Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective. What's going on here please? What's going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? What is the energy here please? Alright, so your energy, your person's energy, what is between you? What is the obstacle or the challenge or main one? Okay. Interesting. Their thoughts about you, their feelings, their intentions and actions that you can expect from this person. Under the deck is the judgment card. We're seeing a lot of major arcana here. Um, out of nine cards, we have one... Um, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of nine cards are major arcana. Um, it's just a big energy around you and this person at this time. Signs that I see very prominently here, we have Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Leo, um, Gemini, Virgo. With the Empress in your energy, I feel like there is a child somehow involved. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not yours, do not force it to fit. But for some of you, I feel like there could be a child here or like a mother of a child that is somehow an issue. Maybe you have a child with this person for some of you. I want to pull in another deck just for additional clarification on this. Um, let's see. The Empress. Why is the Empress here? How do you view this situation? For some of you, you might feel like this person's mother somehow has an influence over them or a, a child, the, the mother of a child in their life. How, how, why is the Empress here? How do you see this person in this connection? How do you see it? Sagittarius energy. You may feel like this person has kind of gone back to mend or heal things with possibly the mother of a child. I mean, the, the obstacle here we see the page of, of potions, page of cups. So it could be a very emotional child. Like somebody might feel guilted into working things out with a person because they do not want to upset a child. How do you view this situation? What do you see? Somebody, this person might have some concerns when it comes to money or like visitation or like rights or something to a child. Like someone stay, like this person stays or tries to work through a situation because there's a, like a very emotional child. If there are no children involved, for some of you, it could be that this person maybe guilts them into staying with them. Like this can be the energy of someone who is like very emotional, you know, cries, tries to manipulate with their emotions says they're sorry a lot, but they don't do much to change it. Someone very immature, childlike. It's like this person feels like they're constantly having to give and make sacrifices for another person. And things are unbalanced. You want to be able to heal. You want this person to be stronger, to stand up for themselves, to follow their heart. In your person's energy with Knight of Cups, night of potions it's like this person does feel a lot of love towards you but it's but it's interesting because when I see this card I don't see somebody who is like confident in themselves someone who's like scared of their feelings like almost frightened in a way can we talk about the Knight of Cups, Knight of Potions, and figure out why he's here? What is going on with your person? Why is this here? They feel stuck. They feel helpless. Like, there's such strong feelings that this person has towards you, but they feel like they cannot act. They feel physically stuck or imprisoned in some way. Now, for some of you, this person actually could be in some type of binding contract or agreement. This person might be stuck in a situation they feel they cannot change or they fear they cannot change. With the magician as like, what is between you and this person? Gemini Virgo energy. The magician is about creation and manifestation, possibilities. Okay, what is between you and this person? <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
The magician clarifies the magician. Did you, did you see that? <laughs> um, I think you and this person are both trying to manifest. I think that you're both trying to, to, to make this possible. But just feeling like, both of you feeling really disappointed or discouraged. Like wanting things to majorly change. But both feeling kind of stuck. The obstacle being page of cups, page of potions, can be an emotional child or, or an emotional person. What is the obstacle? What is the chat? I keep getting cards that like want to flip out and then stop themselves, which kind of tells me that there's something that someone wants to say, but they feel they cannot or they're afraid of saying something. Page of Pentacles. I'm sorry, that of Pentacles. What is this person? What's the obstacle here? I mean, there could be concerns here about about expressing really how they feel, like feeling like they had to kind of, in a way, remain professional around you. It can be like an emotional child this person was to take care of. Things are moving really slowly, and there's a lot of like, a lot of deep emotions. This person feels like it's kind of keep their their like emotions like very much like under control they cannot express how they feel See, it's a very emotional energy page of cups page of cups yeah i just get like they for some of you if this person does have a child with another person they may fear that in leaving this this situation they cannot take this child with them or this child they they might be like very very emotional like it might be too much for them. If not that, it's like this person's worried. Like they have to remain some kind of structure for this person who like may like play the victim. Like it could be like a very immature spouse or partner. What does this person think about you? Well, with the sun, like you actually bring this person so much like joy and like happiness. Like, it's like how playful like, and exciting, you know, like, when they think about you, it's like very positive. What do they think? They actually think that you and them actually could have a really stable, beautiful life together, home life. That maybe you're meant to be married or to have something long term. Some of you could actually work with this person as well. What are their thoughts? They feel like you're destined to be together. They think that you're destined to be together. Eventually, something will happen and eventually... The stars will align and things will work itself out. We see f feelings as five of cups or five of potions. And it's like this person feels regret for something in the past. Like maybe they missed some kind of opportunity here. And they like sulk and like are upset about it. What does this person feel? Like maybe this person chose the wrong person. Okay, now it's painting a really specific picture here. This person may legally be married to another Libra energy. They may legally be married to another person. And they may feel that maybe they made the, the wrong choice or the wrong decision. Okay. The lovers being here is Gemini energy. This is about choices. And we also have the two of swords. What do they feel? They feel like you're their soulmate. You're their other half. You're their divine counterpart. You're the person they're supposed to be with. But they maybe made a bad choice or wrong decision. And now they've hurt themselves and you in the process. In their intentions with the Hierophant, it's interesting because the Hierophant is Taurus energy, but the Hierophant talks about marriage. It talks about like tradition. It talks about lessons. So what is this person's intentions? What are this person intending to do here? So they're very, okay, this person is very focused on like their appearance how people perceive them what are their intentions they want to learn more you know it can be about contracts and how to get out of a situation that might oh there's a lot of fear about money and loss legal stuff okay now i don't do legal or medical readings you know i always advise you guys to seek the appropriate avenues of types of things but this person there's like something about contracts here and endings um maybe like resentments and pain maybe loss of money could have to be like settling a property or settling some kind of debt. Uh, the page of swords is about getting information. So like this person's trying to, this person's intentions are to find out what their options are. And I see like the contracts here, like they're reading the fine print, trying to figure out what the solution is. 
with the high priestess pisces cancer energy sometimes virgo um high priestess is like all um it's like this person like trusting their intuition trying to see the outcome what is this person what actions can you expect from this person high priestess some of them might actually be consulting like a reader a psychic they're they're very worried about their money this person's not going to do something reckless or impulsive this person is trying really hard to, like, to defend and protect themselves. This is not somebody who's like jumping to do something. Like they are really taking their time because they know that this is risky. There could be a lot of lo a loss here, a lot of money, business, whatever. This person is like really careful, really cautious. They may be asking for like, some kind of like advice, psychic advisor or someone to help them through this situation. Um, what do you need to know about this person in this situation? What do you need to know about this person or this situation? What do you need to know? Okay, something else. Okay. Anything else? Anything? Okay. okay. Girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used in able and boundaries. So this person might feel like they may have someone in their life who is using them and there's fears there. Wow. Love. Unconditional love. Self-love. Oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. They're, they're, this person genuinely has feelings for you, but heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, or mourning. You and this person may not physically be together because of this situation, but they're in love with you. They feel stuck in another situation they don't want to be in. There may be children, there may be contracts. It may be some of their reputation, but this is somebody who, do, who wants things to change. They're just trying to figure out how this person may be looking for like legal advice or something or asking someone who maybe has like some kind of insight, maybe who's been through some situation before. They don't want to do something reckless or impulsive. Their, 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 their reputation is very important to them. There could be a lot of money also involved here. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic, not showing hand, and gambling. This person's got to be very careful. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. This person feels like you two will end up together. You will be together in the end. Um, I mean, they, they know that you're their person and they want this. But it's like this person is very cautious and trying to like look at the fine details. This is like going with a fine tooth comb going over like documents, or, like carefully looking at things. Two of Pentacles. This person has to be careful because this this could get kind of complicated. They want a new beginning in love, but this person might be very spiteful. This person might be very emotional, very emotionally manipulative. I kind of get this is that they may have a partner or someone in their life who manipulates others and like cries or plays the victim in some way. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.